gather together in the presence of the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today we celebrate Big Feast Day in our community, the, the Nativity of our Blessed Virgin Mary. We pray that through her intercession, we may love God with all our heart and mind, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And also, in our celebration today, it is important to keep in mind, to remember, to pray through Mary, for our brothers and sisters who are really sick at this time. Pray, we ask Mother Mary to, to help them and to give them hope in their time of crisis. Knowing that our God is full of mercy and compassion, let us now, we pause for a moment we acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of the heavenly grace that the feast of the nativity of our blessed virgin mary may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her son was the dawning of salvation through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem, Ephrath, too small to be among the clans of Judah. 
from whom you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord in the, in the majestic name of the Lord, his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Sponsor will sound. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise from you. Rose, the son of justice, Christ, our God. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they leave, they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in, in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Today, we as the church celebrate the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The church strongly wants to remind us that Mary plays an important role in caring and bringing us grace and salvation for the redemption of all of us. In honor, her, 
in, in honor of her role, the church gives her so many titles. And one of her Mary's, Mary's titles that we all know very well is that she is mother of God and she is also our mother. Jesus gives her, gives Mary to us as to be our mother is to, to remind us that God loves us. And through Mary's, yes, to carry God in her womb, we all have the salvation. So when we, when we talk about salvation, we also talk about Mother Mary. The church strongly believes that Mary was born without any sin. And today, my brothers and sisters, let us celebrate this feast day with joy and happiness because of her faith and yes, all of us have the Emmanuel. God is with us always and everywhere and sent to save God's people from our sins. And today, God has drawn close to all of us in a loving and merciful way. Amen. Let us bring our needs before God, whose will it is that all humanity should be saved. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May the Lord, in his divine goodness, watch over and care for him. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace in the world, may God's love and justice guide those in power and authority let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from any affliction, may Jesus give them peace and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. For this congregation of faith, may the Lord make us holy as the Blessed Virgin Mary was holy and full of grace. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, may they rest in the eternal peace of God. We pray for Adela Giron, Dolores Suter, Michael Johnny Cordero, Connie Moynier, and for those who have died from COVID-19, Chris Barnes, Ruben Benitez, and Monico Sanchez. For them we pray to the Lord. That the sick and the housebound will be shown mercy and love. We pray for John Garcia, Jonel Haraski, Haraksin, Bill Daysenroth, and particularly those with COVID-19, Cesar Vasquez, and the family of Ruben Benitez. Let us pray to the Lord. And we also pray for Maria Idea Idi, Aide Constaneda and Lites Lizette Fallon and Maria Cristina Garcia and William Zamora. For them, we pray to the Lord. And for our intentions, we pray for the intentions for the repose of the soul of Jess Hernandez. For him and his family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. 
And in the silence of our heart, let us now add our own petition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear God of mercy and love, as we celebrate today the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring these prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the words of this our sacrifice for you, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good with all his holy church. As we celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offering, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take the flesh, who live and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to the earth ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant, abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the altar of our salvation your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in, in one choir of ex exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will, will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced and to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us now offer to each other the sign of Christ. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Now let us remember in our hearts and mind our brothers and sisters who cannot join us to receive the Holy Communion at this time of this pandemic, because of this pandemic. Let us remember them and, and pray for them, the prayer of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. As if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
after this Holy Mass, Father Dennis and I will continue and open for the confession. So anyone who wishes to have confession will be in this room and that room. Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries, as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Come to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O Clement, O loving O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O, 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 o Holy Mother of God. Amen.